Today, I welcome you to another inspiring story of an English revert formerly known as Fiona Caroline James, who was recently invited to Buckingham Palace to honor the achievements of the nursing profession. So, Sister Fiona, now Lena Abdu, is an English woman born into a family of four. Her father was a Navy officer and her mother was a nurse. How did she become a Muslim? As a little girl, Lena Abdu and her family lived in Hampshire and were ruled by the Navy world. She and her little sister attended school in the Navy and life was peaceful then. Growing up in the UK was peaceful and I had a lot of freedom, maybe more than the ones present children have, she said in an interview. The Navy shaped their lives and guide them through making decisions. When she was a bit older, her father was transferred to Bermuda. There, she had a kind nanny who lived on an island where Lena began to take interest in swimming. By the time she could attend secondary school, her parents had moved back to the UK. Hence, Lena attended an all-girls boarding school. At the boarding school, she participated in various sports, swimming included. One of her best subjects was religious studies, although it was majorly on Christianity. She noted that one of her struggles during her time in the boarding school is the constant loneliness. Lena said, There was no nurturing and emotional support, no mature mind to ask about how you are. Moving on, Lena Abdu graduated from secondary school with respected results, although she didn't have much motivation for education. When she was 13 years old, one of her neighbors advised her to study nursing. She took this advice because she saw nursing as a professional course and will lead to several opportunities. Before she chose a nursing school, she visited at least five schools till she later chose a nursing school with a large swimming pool. It was during her nursing training that she began to realize her sense of purpose and belonging. Lena saw that she was with people in their extreme situations, either when they're sick, dying, or during birth. For a naive person, she was intrigued. Talking about the birth and death of people was prohibited in her house. Gradually, she began to learn more about people's life and came to realize that a healthy life isn't guaranteed. Through nursing school, she began to comprehend the fact that our health is out of our hands and can't make it better unless granted with the mercy of the Almighty. After completing her nursing training, Lena Abdu was sure that she wanted to be in the profession. The opportunity to be compassionate, kind, and caring to people is what moved her and she saw that she got much more from doing these. Fascinated by the miracle of birth, she began to explore faith to have a sense of meaning and connection to her work. To structure her feelings, she moved towards Christianity. Lena Abdu started to attend the Catholic Church close to her hospital and volunteered in taking care of children with disabilities. However, the doctrine of the church was what she struggled with, the Trinity in particular. The belief of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit seemed to confuse her and she stopped going to the church. Later, she moved to North London where she started working and trained to become a midwife. It was at this place that she met English Muslims. The majority of the people she associated with and treated were Muslims. She saw how they related and how they propagated one God in Islam. Nobody ever pushed Islam down my throat, she said. Despite working with Muslims, they never pushed her towards being a Muslim. They only relate as per Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's instructions, and she was amazed. Also, she kept hearing about the Prophet's story, peace be upon him, and never knew how it all connected to the Christian's version. Moreover, the one God principle of Islam was too strong for her to ignore. Lena was moved by the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and was touched by the Muslims' attitudes towards one another. Even though she was interested in Islam at this point, she was doubtful if there is a place for her in the religion. Little did she know that Islam is for everyone. The Muslim she knew was born into the faith and she didn't know anyone who converted or took interest in Islam. She thought that giving up everything is the solution to being a Muslim, thinking she can't be English and a Muslim simultaneously. It was during this confusing time that she met her husband, Salah. He was a doctor in the same hospital and they met while working in the maternity ward. I remember him walking with a sense of purpose into the ward and being polite but formal to the women. I was amused, she says. After that day, they began to talk since they worked together. They got talking and Lena realized that he was from Sudan and he's a Muslim. He was upfront about being a Muslim and I was like, that's interesting because I'm interested in Islam. As said before, Lena was interested in Islam before she met Salah and continued on the path of learning about the faith independently. Although her conversations with Salah about the deen answered some of her questions about being a Muslim, both of them continued their talking stage and she tagged him as a special person in her life though she didn't know he'd be her husband. He later encouraged her to study further and she enrolled in Oxford Brooks to study law. Moreover, both of them got engaged before she left for school. 
At the university, Lena met other English Muslims, and this solidified her interest to become a Muslim. Maryam was her first English Muslim friend in the school, and she said, and I quote, I remember meeting Maryam with her friends, and they were all on hijabs. They were interested in me and were kind and caring while asking me questions. It was at this point that Lena promised herself to only marry someone of the same faith as hers, meaning if he's Muslim and she can't be one, she wouldn't marry him. But alhamdulillah, since she later became one of us. Afterwards, she proceeded to take the shahada. She was reluctant about taking it and delayed it because she wasn't sure she was ready to give up some of her ways of life. Later, Maryam convinced her to take the shahada since she already believed in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then she took the shahada in front of Maryam and her friends and in front of her husband-to-be. Two things she struggled with after becoming a Muslim is number one, wearing a scarf. She says, I remember the first day I wore a scarf on the day of my exam. I was afraid of how people would react and I know they'll talk about me since I sit in the front during exams. I used the scarf and upon sighting someone I know at the bus stop, I ran back. Later, I used it and went to write my exams. Next, changing her name. Since the people she associated with changing their names, Lena thought it was mandatory to change her name from Fiona Caroline James to Lena. However, she said, I wouldn't advise anyone to change their names now since it's not compulsory. I wouldn't have mine any other way though. Salah and Lena Abdu decided to get married but both their parents opposed. Thus, they got married on their own. Before the nikah, they visited the local imam and he asked Lena a series of questions. Questions like, is this what you want? Are you okay with this? Etc. Still, Lena didn't change her stance. Lena gave birth to her first son about six days after her final exams in the university. As a new Muslim, she found it hard to settle in a community. People were harsh and said bad comments about her, but with her husband, she survived it. Later, she met a new Muslim woman called Lucy, and they connected. With Lucy, they found other new Muslim English mothers and created a community. They had various excursions and were happy with themselves. Lena afterwards got to know about a Ramadan retreat and a new Muslim project. She took her family and it was at this place that she grew her confidence about being a Muslim. Sharing her religion with her husband is the most important part of her marriage, and she hoped her children will find the same. Lena actively participated in challenging stereotypical views about Islam and tried to influence people around her. For Lena Abdu, her connection to Islam is compassion and love, which she found while working as a nurse. Recently, she was invited to Buckingham Palace to attend a reception for nurses and their contribution to the NHS. Lena Abdu is happy that she was able to bring the world together and find a place of settling in Islam. How are we all? Enjoyed the story? Learned something new? I hope you do because I learned a lot. May the Almighty make us steadfast in the deen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.